Hello crafty friends, today I want to talk to you about my top 10 tips for surviving and getting the most out of your creativation experience. Before we dig into that, I'm going to give you a little bit of background about creativation. If you haven't heard of it before, or if you've heard of it, but you've not always understood what it's about, I'll give you a little bit more information and then I'll dig into my top tips. So Creativation is an annual event held in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's hosted by AFCI, which is a global organization, and it's the Association for creative industries. So you'll find representation at the Creativation event for paper crafts, card making, mixed media, fabric crafts, edible arts. There is any kind of craft that you can think of that pretty much covered at this event and people travel from all around the world to be there. Having said that, it is a trade event, so it's not open to everyone. It's not like a craft show where you can buy a ticket, you can go in and you can purchase things. It is a trade show where brands will attend. They'll have a booth, perhaps, um, where they display their latest release. They talk about trends that they're trying to bring to us for the next year. They'll showcase any new products that they have. And then we have buyers who can come and purchase those things to then retail in their stores or online on their websites. And you also have designers who come up with the products. You'll have influencers and bloggers. Myself, I'm there as a digital content creator. And I'll go into a little bit more about that in just a minute. So as for the event itself and what you can expect, it's from the 17th to the 21st of January and there are four days of education and three days of show floor, which is where you can kind of walk around all the different booths, you can interact with the brand owners, with the designers, you can meet the creators and really get to grips with the trends for the following year and what people will be releasing and what's coming out. So during the education days, you can register for workshops and seminars where you'll get to use the product or have discussions and learn something. And it's really a valuable experience to get a better insight into the industry and to learn from other people's experiences and the wisdom that they have to offer. I'll be sure to link to the show guide below. It is a 41 page PDF. There is a ton of information and pictures in there. So it will have certainly more than I'm able to tell you about in this vlog, but there'll be all that information in the description bar below. So do check that out if you're interested. And I'm quickly gonna answer what I think is probably the most popular question, which is how do we go? How do we get to attend? So for me, my experience is that my first creativation, which was January 2018, I can't believe that that was still within this year. It's insane to me. It feels like a lifetime ago. Um, I actually attended as part of a design team. I attended as part of the Love From Lizzie design team as one of her designers under her AFCI membership. Since then, I have registered for my own membership as a digital content creator. There are a few different types of membership depending on the criteria that you fit. Some people may actually fit multiple criteria. You'll just have to check out the website and see what the criteria are and which one you feel suits you best if you're interested in joining. There are a ton of benefits to being part of AFCI other than Creativation, but obviously entrance to Creativation is a very exciting thing. You can, of course, attend as a non-member, but you do have to meet a certain criteria to be eligible to purchase a ticket, and all of that information is on the website linked below. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into my top 10 tips for surviving and getting the most out of your creativation experience. These are all based on my experience in January, things that I've learned, things that people told me before and during the show, and hopefully they'll be useful to you. Okay, so tip number one is wear comfortable shoes. It seems really obvious, but you will be doing a lot of walking, or if you're working in a booth, you'll be doing potentially an awful lot of standing. So you want to make sure that you're really comfortable. Think like walking around Disneyland for the day. That's the kind of comfortable that you're looking for. Number two, again, really obvious, but make sure you have business cards with you so you can hand them out to people that you meet. Make sure you take business cards of people that you want to connect with further down the line. 
make sure you have all of your information on there, your website, your email address, your phone number if that's appropriate, and your name rather than just your brand name. So I, of course, am Crafty Not Shifty here on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter, but I have a real name and it's Laura Gallimore. So I make sure to have both my brand name and my actual name on my business cards. Tip three would be take a notepad. It can be a teeny tiny one like this, but make sure you have a notepad and a pen with you. If you have a conversation with somebody and you want to pick up with them in the future, it's really useful to be able to just jot down, you know, I met Susan at this booth, this is her email. Yes, you'll have a business card, but jot down some points for the conversation that you had. So when you revisit further down the line, you can thank Susan for her time, talk about how you spoke about a new stencil or a new paintbrush, whatever it may be, you want to be able to link back to that conversation so you have that trigger point. So hopefully the person that you're trying to connect with can remember you. Tip number four would be take opportunities. It is a little bit overwhelming, particularly if you travel alone, particularly if you don't know anyone. I actually met Lizzie of Love From Lizzie for the very first time at the airport just before we got on the plane to sit next to each other for however many hours it was, knowing that we were going to be sharing a hotel room together for a couple of days. And luckily we got on really, really well, so that was fine. But there were certainly moments during the show where I felt overwhelmed and a little bit alone and I kind of maybe held back a little bit more than I should have. So do as I say and not as I did and take opportunity. Go and speak to people, introduce yourself. Everybody's there for the same reason. Everybody wants to learn and connect and discover. It is the purpose of the show. So make sure you take those opportunities. Tip number five would be download the Creativation app. It's really useful. There is a map in there so you can kind of navigate your way around the show. You can figure out who's at which booths. You can read through the list of all of the attendees before you go. So you can kind of create a list of people that you definitely want to see and you definitely want to connect with. And you can also find where the classrooms are for any classes that you're attending. And you can search for people. So you can search for me as Crafty Not Shifty or Laura Gallimore. And you can connect with people via the app also. Tip number six is a bit of a silly one, however I think it's very important and it is to have some mints or some chewing gum with you. You are going to be in Arizona, even though it's January it is warmer than I'm used to in England and it's very dry and you're going to be out all day, you're going to be eating, you're going to be grabbing snacks between classes and you just want to make sure that when you're talking to people you make the right kind of impression. So keep those mints and chewing gum handy so you don't get a dry mouth and you don't have any like issues. <laughs> That's not based on anything that I experienced from anyone, it's more of an irrational fear on my part so I will always have mints or gum so if you see me and you need some, I have some. Tip number seven would be to plan. Not necessarily every moment of your time while you're in Phoenix, but to make sure that you are prepared for any conversations that you may be having. So as a digital contenter, as a digital content creator, it's important for me to have an album on my phone of blog posts that I've done in the past, of my photography. Yes, I can pull up Instagram or I could pull up my blog, but if the signal's being a bit patchy, it's nice to be able to have a, an album to reference. And that's actually, the last two tips are actually tips that I got from a brilliant podcast, the So Susie podcast, all about creativation, and I'll link that in the description below as well. Tip number eight is to take advantage of extra curricular activities. So whether it be kind of going out for dinner with people that you've met, whether it's meeting up for a couple drinks at a bar or in the hotel lobby, take advantage of those few days while you're there and really interact with people to make those lasting connections. I experienced something that was very useful to me. I went out for some food and a couple of drinks and met some of the admins of Stamp Junkies. If you're not a member of the Stamp Junkies page, where have you been? I'll leave that in the description below as well. It is a wonderful Facebook page and through making the connections, particularly with Chris Dayton, I was then invited to be a teacher at the Stamp Junkies kind of meetup event, Junkie Fest, and that was a wonderful opportunity that I wouldn't have had had it not been for going for 
the food and drink where I met the junkie admins. So take advantage of any of those extracurricular activities. Tip number nine would be to register for classes. You're able to register for workshops, classes and seminars via the Creativation website using your badge ID number. Some of them do incur an extra fee, but it is definitely worth it. You get to have that one-on-one -on -one time with the brand owners or the designers of the product and really see how it's intended to be used. And it's usually a product that's coming out in the following year. So you get kind of a sneak peek and you get to see what's going on ahead of anybody else. If you miss out on registering for classes, don't worry because there is plenty going on on the show floor, particularly with the new Stamp Village, which I'm really excited. There are a whole bunch of stamp companies that have come together to create this Stamp Village area, which I believe will have a demo table and there'll be some stuff going on there to check out on the, on the show floor. Tip number 10 would be to relax and enjoy the event. After all, it's only paper crafting, it's only card making. We're all there to have fun, so don't get in your head too much and just enjoy your time. Okay, so that is my top 10 tips for surviving and getting the most out of your Creativation experience. I hope to see some of you at Creativation 2019. If you are attending, let me know in the comments, and if not, let me know what you're most excited to see from the show floor, and I'll try and capture a video for you. That's all for me today. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.